You have a good day, ma'am. You're dismissed. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have a good day, ma'am. Yeah, you heard that right. Susan Bassey just dismissed that cop. Get the bidet ready. We've got a stinky one today. Today's show is brought to you by channel members and patrons alike. To contribute to this show, hit that join button or head over to www.patreon.com slash the plot hole one. That's the number one, not the loneliest number you can ever do. Rack focus. Hey everybody, Gianni O from the Plot Hole here. Feeling a little better than I was yesterday. <laughs> hey, want to get you a quick channel update. We are making that final push to 2,000 subscribers. Woohoo! I think we only need about 90, give or take, to hit that goal. So thank you very much for your subscriptions and your likes and your comments and all that fun stuff that you do. All the patrons and channel members who help support the show. You guys are awesome, you're amazing, and I greatly appreciate it. I do hope to get there before June 28th, which will be exactly six months after, well, no, not six months. It'll be 18 months after I started the channel uh, and just over six months after our, yeah, just over six months after we hit a thousand subscribers. So if we can hit that mark, that 2000 spot, really I wanted to be at 2,500 right about now, but I'm taking all the channel growth that I can get because you know, YouTube's YouTube and it is what it is. I'll never complain about being where I'm at. I do have goals, so yeah, let's get to 25 before the end of the month. That'd be awesome. It's only 500 subscribers in two weeks, three weeks. We can do it. Once I do hit that 2K though, we will have a mini celebration with some prizes and giveaways. So, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And of course I'll announce it before we do. Uh, speaking of prizes and giveaways, I know I owe a couple of people out there some shirts and whatnot. And because my memory is like a fish, just keep swimming, just keep whatever. I've forgotten, and I know I'm a terrible person for forgetting. So if I owe you a shirt or if you want a prize from me, please do reach out. Hit me up on Discord. Hit me up through the comment section down below or shoot me an email, uh, theplothole1 at gmail.com. Let me know what it is and when it was, all the fun stuff, and I promise I'll write it down this time, or at least I'll have some place to go back and look for it, uh, and then I'll get it out to you as soon as I can. Uh, going forward, I will make a special tab in the Discord chat room or Discord server for all prizes. That way I can write you down immediately and then, you know, mark it as I send them. Anyway, sorry about all that. I promise I'll do better. Back to the sub count. According to Social Blade here, I should hit 2,500 uh, in about 54 days. So let's see if we can't prove them wrong and accelerate that a little bit. Let's see if we can do it in less than half the time. It'd be awesome if we could. One way you can help me out is by, you know, sharing this with all your friends, you know, telling them to subscribe because it's, you know, worth it or something. I don't know. This thing also says I'll hit 5,000 in 180 days. That's not bad. I got to say that puts me well ahead of my one year or by the end of this year goal. So if I hit 5,000 in December, awesome. Be great. At, again, that puts me right up to goal. So again, thank you all for your support. I really do appreciate it. Anywho, let's get into the doo-doo. And yes, there will be doo-doo for all of you food sensitive types. You've been warned. All right, first up we have a special shout out to a very prominent member of the debunker community, whereas he may not be a content creator, so to speak. He is definitely extremely active in a lot of the side chats, uh, the back and forth, and he's been a supporter of this channel for a long time. Um, and I agree again, I greatly appreciate his support, but I was surfing the internets, the interwebs, the things that you do on the line. Anyway, I came across commander dark lights, graduation footage. Check this out. I sure hope this doesn't get me copyright claimed. Lots of weird things have been happening on YouTube lately where the little things have, you know, been channel copyright. <laughs> if you doubt that this is Commander Darklight, then I challenge you to search out his Instagram by the same name. Hmm. 
Enough of the gooey show of emotion. On to the duty. I'm telling you, Susan. You can is, tell me anything. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're there? under arrest or you're getting in a citation. I'm saying that as a as a human being, if somebody asks you to stop, are you here in your official children, capacity as a human then, being or as a law enforcement agency? Both. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, they don't want to be filmed. I heard you. So if you can, just just be a, a good person and stop filming the children. This is Susan Bassey. Now, I'm sure most of you know who Susan Bassey is, but for those who don't, Susan Bassey is a Santa Clara independent journalist. I think we all know what that means. Police officers were called because Bassey was filming children. This family asked her to stop. And of course, instead of just saying, oh, hey, you're right. Sorry to mean to catch your kids. I, I won't put them on there. No big deal. I won't record your kids anymore. Bassey had to stand up for her freedoms to record on the beach because I'm going to publicly record. Let's see how this one plays out. I heard you. And these guys, I'm sure, don't want to be filmed when they're in bikinis and I just, just interviewed them. Fine and, okay. I just interviewed them. All right. Well, I'm just telling you, if I had my small children here and you came up to me and started videotaping me and my family and I asked you multiple times to stop, I would hope that you would stop. So, so when uh, a 49er is involved in an incident and they, the public and the 49ers start making threats to that child, how would you feel about that? I don't what the hell does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Because the police didn't enforce than, that. Okay, uh, a, well, a you got team. some in your jurisdiction. Yeah. And I'm looking at protecting those children, too. Okay, I don't know what that is. If, if you can educate me. I will educate okay. you. Do you. Do you want me to tell you that there was a domestic violence incident involving the 49ers in 2014? The 49ers, like the sports team? Yes, and the 49ers manager started calling the victim and the children, and it got leaked by the courts to the reporters who circled the child's house. Okay. So, I make sure that that doesn't happen with reporters and other things. Okay. So I understand my ethical duty about publishing, and I also understand my ethical duty about... Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Because a member of the 49ers football organization was involved in a domestic dispute or domestic disturbance or domestic violence or whatever involving a child, therefore you're filming other people's children in order to protect children? Right. Okay. What I don't understand is why the police are still not trained to not respond to recording and public calls and are wasting public resources doing this in 2021. Okay. That's what I don't because understand. Because when we get multiple calls about somebody filming small children, we come out here and double Then you check. need to address okay. your policies and procedures. No. Because when someone's being burglarized or there's a problem that law enforcement needs to respond to. Then we'll get a call for service and okay. I'll go but there. But now I got two police officers coming out here for a recording and public call. Yeah, this is my sergeant. He's out here because we're the Excellent. only two officers in the city right now. Great. So and we'll do a public records here. Request for the roster. Little kids. Yeah, because so. somebody called. So you're going to blame so me. This is Susan. She's okay. out here filming because uh, something about the 49ers. But this family here. That wasn't what I told you. Time. I told you so I've been filming this beach. Her children. She's filming other people around the beach. And Your body cam's on right now? It's always on, man. Okay, yeah. sir, you just uh, miscommunicated so. to your sergeant. All I told you was if I had a family and I had small children, and I asked her to stop filming my small children, I would hope as a person that she would stop. Okay. Um, and then she started talking about the 49ers. I, I, she kind of lost me there. So if you want to handle it, I give her my name and badge number. Okay. Hi, your name Hi. and badge number, please, Sergeant? My first name is Leo. Leo? My badge number is 518. And what's your last? Lots to unpack here. First, police officers are duty bound to respond to calls. That's kind of what they're here for. If someone calls in a complaint, they have to investigate. They show up, talk to the people whom they're complained about or who made the complaint or whatever, and assess the situation. If they determine that the person who called in the complaint did so illegally or it was a false complaint or they shouldn't have done that, then during their assessment, they'll figure that out and have a conversation with the person who called the complaint in. But they have to assess the situation first. Acting like an entitled Karen, protecting her soft sit rights is going to continue this police contact. Marino, how do you spell it? M-O-R-E-N-O? -E it's right here, ma'am. You related to any of the Marinos in Santa Clara County? Sidewalk. Hector Marino, do you know that you're being investigated for that right now? Related to the Brooks case and Nat Hales 
Is there a reason why you didn't contact me back when I told you that Matt Hales had never complied with his oath or posted the Brooks case or any others that he was presiding over in private judging under California CCP 638 and 639? I just make a point of not talking to somebody who is been diagnosed as being mentally unstable. Did you just I say, think that's you. Did so. you say I've been diagnosed as being mentally unstable? Well, that's what I've heard. Okay, well, who'd you hear that from, Hector Marino? If I were a betting man, I would put good solid money on you having some sort of undiagnosed or diagnosed mental health condition. I mean, never mind that this isn't the same person as a cop on the beach. I mean, Moreno is not uncommon. It's not hugely popular, but it's not uncommon. I think there's over 170,000 instances of the last name Moreno in the United States. Most of them are gonna be in the more ethnic areas of the world like California. So because this guy shares a last name with that guy, come on, come on, man. That doesn't matter. Okay. How can I help you? You can't help me at all. I'm out at the beach and I'm working on documentary and filming projects okay. and I'm filming. And you had okay. someone call the police and your policies Correct. and procedures obviously require responding with okay. two police officers and a sergeant. So now we're gonna need to do a public records request. It's hey, Joel. It's just myself and one other officer. There's no other okay. officer. Two officers okay. responding to a recording in public call. Okay. Two officers responding to a public disturbance call. Yeah, they tend to do that. Oh, and by the way, if you're recording for documentary purposes, the California state says that you have to acquire a permit to do so. California Code of Regulations 4316, commercial filming. Except where authorized by the department, no person shall photograph, videotape, or film for commercial profit and sale purposes in any unit or portion thereof owned, operated, or administered by the department without a permit from the California Film Commission pursuant to government code sections 14998.8. Note that recording video for YouTube and other social media outlets that result in financial gain and photography that will be used in a professional portfolio, whether for photographer or the model or subject, is deemed commercial photography. So in case you didn't know, your documentary requires a permit. We're just trying to figure out what's going on now. You don't get to know why I'm recording just like I don't get to know what you're investigating. We're telling you why we're here. I heard you. Are you enforcing a law? I'm sorry? Are we, you enforcing a law? We came out here because we got a call the disturbance. That's okay. why we're here. We're here to keep peace. Okay. So that's why, uh, again, I don't know what you guys discussed before I got here. And then we're going to go and talk to them and then figure out what's going on. Excellent. I'll wait. Okay. I mean, and you can do that if you like. Just go on YouTube and request it. Yeah. You don't want your kids on the on the video. Yeah, your kids won't be on there, but you are, and you'll be called Capitola Karen. Just so you know. Go ahead, say anything you want. You're, if you if you're inciting her to want to fight you, then we're gonna get involved. Did that so, look like I was inciting she was her? Doing that before you guys arrived. I have filmed She's everything. You're welcome to look at it. Sure seemed like inciting. I mean, regardless, it was unnecessary. Uh, like, don't get okay. in my face. Let's, don't let's, touch my camera. Like, all this stuff. I I filmed her approaching on me. Okay. All right. Do you guys educate people about the right to record in public? I don't know why you come out here and try to antagonize people like this. I wasn't like, doing that. trying to enjoy their day. Would you day. like to talk to all those people? People are trying to enjoy their day. Why don't you talk to other people besides the Karen of Capitola? She's, okay. she's the reason why we're out here and we're calling. Because you That's come for the checking. Karens. Yes, and you are the Karen. This lady had a reasonable request. Seeing as how you stated that this was a documentary, you are required to get signed release forms for her and her children so they can appear in your film. I didn't say that. You can, you can film out here, that's fine. I'm a publisher, okay. I'm licensed, okay. I'm a member of Society of Professional totally Journalists, fine. I'm a member of investigative reporters and editors, totally and I understand my duty, and okay. I understand the rights of the free press and that's clearly why, and that's what we more than you do. And that's why we, we explain to her that you can do that, as long as you're not You need that. to be educating about the right to record okay. in public instead of responding to every Karen. Well, if you kept your Karen mouth shut long enough for your Karen ears to hear what this police officer had to say, you would have heard him say that exact same thing. And you need to educate yourself on the laws of documentary making. 
Okay. We're going to do yeah. a records request for okay. your pay. Okay. We're going to do a records request for the calls for service. Okay. And we're going to start looking at how much money your department is wasting Perfect. on enforcing recording in public. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Great. All right. Just Thank so you, you know, my day. name is Susan Bassey, okay. B-A-S-S-I. I have a YouTube channel and you'll be on it before Monday Perfect. morning. All right. Thank you. You have a good day, ma'am. You're dismissed. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have a good day, ma'am. You didn't like me saying you're dismissed. Did that bother you? No. Okay. That's fine. You can say whatever you like. And I can also stand on a public beach as long as I like. That's fine. We're, uh, we're done with our contact. That's it. If we're done with our contact, why are you still here? Because you uh, you brought, brought uh, you were talking to me about being dismissed again. I was like, right. I just said you're dismissed. Okay. okay. Well, you're dismissed as well. You have a good day. You now. don't get to dismiss me. You have a good day. You don't get to dismiss. You have a good day. This is what we call the walk of shame, folks. Okay. Now, I'm all for holding police officers accountable for their actions. But in this instance, Bassey, you're being antagonistic simply to be antagonistic. You're trying to get a response out of these police officers because that's your ultimate goal. Ever since you had your little scuffle at divorce court or proceedings or whatever it was where you allegedly broke your finger, or I'm sorry, a police officer allegedly broke your finger when taking your phone. You know, when you were trying to film family court. Yeah, you can't do that. That's not cool. That's not kosher. Anyway, ever since that incident, you've been trying to catch police officers, quote, doing the wrong thing or not upholding the law or being bad, bad cops. Those bad cops, you. It's obvious because you have to ramp up your insults. And when this police officer doesn't give you the results that you're looking for, you have to follow him and throw more insults at him. Grow up and get a life, you overgrown piece of poo. Here's to today's Dingleberry. today's dingleberries and klingons i sure hope you enjoyed the show if you did like share subscribe thumbs buttons things bells whistles dissels and hissels whatever the hell that means i have no idea i'm still recovering from being ill what are you gonna do now ah. anyway i'm johnny o here it comes finger guns baby